Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For those of you who do, welcome back. So for today's video, I told you in my previous video that I was going to be doing a sewing video. And so for this video, I found a few pieces at the thrift store that I decided to create accessories with. By accessories, I mean belts. And so for my first DIY, I was just going through a thrift store and I fell upon some ties. I immediately I was drawn to the fabrics, the prints, the colors, and with the patterns. I thought that they would look beautiful as a sort of corset belt. And in the summertime, actually it's an all season, I think with a beautiful dress or with a blazer and you want to put a belt over your blazer. Accessories add the perfect finishing touch to your outfit. And I immediately saw potential with the ties. And so I created this beautiful belt. Not only did I create one, I created five of them. Um, so if you are interested, I will be listing four of them up in the shop. I'm going to keep one for myself and the other four are going to be listed up in the shop. So let's jump right into the first one. Enjoy. to my second thrift lip, I end up finding this really pretty skirt. Now I was immediately drawn to the fringe and to the ribbon and I saw potential with it. I didn't see it as a skirt. I didn't like the way that it was sitting on the hips. It was not my style of skirt. I'm sure someone else would love it, but this was not my style. So I decided to create a sort of belt, but a belt that when you wear a skirt, 
you'd clip it so it can create a ruching effect on your skirt so it holds up on your skirt so it looks like it's part of your skirt that was the vision that i had i wasn't too crazy about the color it was not my preference so i decided to dye it brown and i knew that if i dyed it brown i would wear it more often it would go more with everything that i have in my wardrobe so i end up dyeing it however when i end up dyeing it i feel that the ribbon stood out too much and it didn't look as good as when it was in the green so what i did is i decided to sew my own ribbon and make it more cohesive with the rest of the belt but i am so happy of how it turned out i think it's super cute and i think i'll definitely be wearing it in the summertime so let's jump right into the whole second thrift flip my third one I was going through the belts and I immediately was drawn to, to this beautiful belt and there was several of them so this is another belt if you're interested I will be listing it up in the shop I thought it was so pretty I thought that it was a standout piece it was something different and I also had different types of dresses that I no longer wore that I end up getting at the thrift store and I didn't like the fit of the dresses so I end up reusing those dresses and creating a whole wrap belt and I am so happy I love it I think mixing it up with other belts and having fun and playing around with this one I think makes it super different and unique so let's jump right into the third DIY
on to my last one. This was something I decided to add in. It's nothing big, but it is this super cute little headpiece. The reason why I put it in this video is that not only can you wear it as a headpiece, you can also wear it as a belt. You know me, I love to play around and wear things differently. So I wanted to add it in this video. So it's nothing too crazy, but it's so cute. And the fun part is that I created a two-sided one. If I decide to wear it on the other side with the other print, I can. So, and I added these cute little tassels and I can wear it as a belt. So it's a two-in-one. It's actually like a three-in-one where you can flip it size. You can wear it as a belt. You can wear it on the side. You can wear it in the front. Um, I'll try to show you different ways that you can wear it. So I decided to add it in this video because it does create a belt. So let's jump right into this DIY. I hope you enjoyed this video comment down below let me know which belt is your favorite and again if you're interested I have two of the DIY belts that are going to be listed when this video goes up so if you're interested go check out Koakaya and I will be also listing other uh, new arrivals so always go check in the new arrivals. I try to make it that when I put up a video, I put new arrivals all the time. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your thumbs up, your comments. Have an amazing week. Mwah. Bye.